guys, Joe here, the guy who broke into Stu Linners at one time and stole a bunch of pork coins. <laughs> and uh, I'm here to talk about UFC Fight Night, Lewis versus Spivak. What was that? What? Oh, nah, okay. Uh, just kidding, I guess. It's uh, Ian Gutalaba versus uh, Sichukwu as our main event. Why, why do we... <sighs> These filler fight cards, man. I just... So, our main event is a Chukwu versus Ian Kutilaba. Kennedy is a Chukwu, I'm sure they his first name. Um, so, this is our new main event. After middle of the event, I think they were actually prepping for the main card, I think is what it was. And Derek Lewis just pulled out with what a lot of people said was a, a, a tummy ache. Uh, <laughs> now, I'm going to be honest here, though. I, I do have some empathy. Um, I don't know if Derek Lewis has GI issues. I have GI issues. I, uh, I Last year, I actually got diagnosed with a GI disease that I have to live with. The rest of my life. And uh, it's zero fun. It sucks. It sucks so bad. I'm actually going to pull the sleeves up. But it sucks so bad. You know, it's really fun just being out and about and then randomly having to scramble because you have like a midsection pain. Awesome. Um, I know that he was, it just called it an illness, like a stomach illness. Um, and so he went to the hospital and then he was cleared. Like, I think, I think he was cleared like right after the main event. Um, all that. I'm, I'm not going to question his, like, heart or mental game. I'm not going to do that because, like, I don't know, like, y'all had, like, a really bad stomachache. It sucks. I ain't trying, I'm not trying to get into a fight where a dude could, hit, like, nail me in the body. Like, Derek Lewis already doesn't like getting hit with body shots. No one does, by the way. If anyone says they do, they're lying. Um, but, um, he, like, he already doesn't like body shots. Him having his, like, stomach pain and midsection troubles... Like, on top of that, yeah, no, dude. Like, come on. It's just no fun. It's like um the Travis Brown fight. He actually got hit with the body with, you know, a body shot. He got, took a body kick, and he was, like, kind of hurt, you know. And then he later on just said he had to take another two. He didn't want to, like, see him punk himself in the ring. Uh, or uh, who was it? Well, not Justin Kish. It was in Oklahoma City. I, I was at the fight card. I feel like I should have. But it was in the Fleece Herrick fight. Her opponent. He just want to have that kind of moment. You know, and I totally get that. Yeah, I, that's with if you win and that happens, still it's just come on, like no one's ever gonna take you seriously again, and it's not your fault. Like the, you get, come on. Um, so regardless, I am glad he is medically cleared. I'm glad he's okay. Good for him, man. I uh, I'm I'm not gonna. I personally won't be the guy to question anything of Derek Lewis. But let's talk about our main event then. So. Um, new main event. This was our co-main event of the evening. Uh, Zichuk Kennedy, Kennedy Zichuk versus Ian Kutilaba. This fight actually was pretty decent. I've got to be honest. Um, I wasn't didn't have any really very much high hopes. I was like two sloppy light heavyweights with power. Okay, it's gonna be over quick, right? It wasn't. I was like it'll be just quick, easy, a little a little bit of fun maybe. It was actually not that bad. It was actually pretty good. Um, so. First round, both dudes kind of start trading leather early. Uh, Kutilaba, though, just, you know, he's he's very talented. Just, like, he has he at least has, like, some potential there. It just isn't, obviously, not anymore because he's older and time progresses. But who knows, he could have maybe a crazy career turnaround. You never say never in this sport. Um, and But he does, like I said, like, you know, he's a little bit more well-rounded than Kennedy's, Kennedy's at Chukwu. So he gets a takedown. Gets a, gets a takedown. I thought it was pretty easy how he got it. And just gets mount. Kind of just dominates the Chukwu on, on the grappling. Uh, threatened the Kimura when they got back up. You know, he was like stomping the foot. Something I love. I think I think foot stomps are great. Because I've been stomping the foot. And it is hell. No. I, I'm, I'm so cool on that. Um, used to get stomped in the foot all the time. Like a little dirty thing you can do uh, back in the day in like jujitsu and stuff. If you couldn't get the guy down, it sucked. It sucks so bad. But second round goes out, and Zuchuku got beat up pretty good in the first round. Uh, at least got out grappled for sure. Got out grappled pretty hard. And he actually comes out, you know, a little bit like he has that kind of chip on his shoulder, rolls out, and he times a beautiful knee uh, into a Kutalaba shot, uh, nails him clean. As he's stepping in, he gets hit with like a groin shot, uh, and it was actually really smart here, really smart for Zuchuku just to go, nah, don't Keith Peterson get the get out of my way, no nonsense, you know, get out of my way. 
because if I take time off, he's going to recover and he's hurt. I want this. And he goes in again, another big knee, and it's it's it. You know, here we go. Time to put put the you know put the beating down. And um, yeah, you know, honestly, I, I, I normally you know I always go like, well, what's next for them after this? I really don't know because uh, they're in like a really funky spot at two hundred five. They're in uh, what I would call the abyss of two hundred five, where some guys can get themselves out of it pretty quick. Like Ryan Spann looks like he's about to get out of it. Dominic Ray has just got leveled and thrown back into it if he doesn't retire. Um, and it's like kind of like that, you know, like period where you just kind of, you're kind of just going, kind of just fighting each other. And I feel like sadly these guys in that kind of area are just waiting to get beat up by like Anthony Smith. Like I feel like they usually go, you want to get out of here? You got to fight Anthony Smith. And he always just smashes the guy, sends him back down. You know, I feel like that's just how it always goes. So the fight everybody's going to be talking about, and the guy everyone's going to be talking about, is uh, Jack De La Maddalena versus Danny Roberts. This dude, Jack Maddalena, I don't know if you have to say the full thing. Is it like a pimp named Slickback or a tribe called Quest? I don't know. But... Um, he looks incredible. His hands are unbelievable. I was so annoyed that I didn't get to watch his fight live. I did not know he was fighting. I just knew everyone was not looking forward to this card. And I went, oh, well, I'll just, I have a date. I'm going to watch it after my date, you know. And um, oh, I made a mistake. I should have just been like, oh, hold on. Can you wait? Can we wait a little bit and just pull this up? Um, <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, no, I, I think this guy's. No, I'm not saying I'm not gonna put like crazy. I'm not gonna say what his ceiling is yet, because that's what everybody wants to do, and then that's how people, you know, <laughs> pull this clip back up and make you look dumb. But this dude looks really good. I think he looks great. Um, he's getting really popular, and I can see why. His hands are incredible. I love a good boxer. I love a good bo MMA boxer. He's very impressive. Three straight knockouts, and uh, yeah, he looks fantastic. People, I saw a name get tossed around for him last night. And I, I want to say it was friend of the show, John Martian, you know, maybe, I don't know, but uh, I saw Jeff Neal get tossed around for him next, and I went, oh man, that's a big step up in competition. Yeah, let's do it. That sounds so much fun though. You know, maybe that's bad prospect train, like right, letting a prospect rise up, but I don't know. I mean... Sounds kind of cool. <laughs> so next on the card, well, tough winner Ricky Tercios got to win. People don't seem to like him. He's not the most fun guy to watch. Like he's a little, like he actually is like all action, like nonstop pace, actually. But uh, his style just isn't pleasant on the eyes. You know, it's like a striking mostly. Uh, people so people don't seem to like him though. I kind of like him. You know, I like that like high pace. He's at bantamweight though, which is like. You know, I always say he's the best division in the sport right now, so I don't know. Um, Vanessa Demopoulos got another win, jumped in the Michael Bisping's arms. Um, she's probably in my boy stable, admittingly. I don't know why. Couldn't tell you why. Um, probably because I wish. <laughs> probably because I wish it was my arms. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but no, I actually kind of like her. Um, I, I like that energy. I always think of like you know her like when she's like oh Joe Rogan like actually freaking out like I think I would be in the situation I thought that very felt very human very, very grounding so I, I I think I like that like kind of personality um, Natalia Silva got this amazing spinning back kick KO I, I'm not gonna spoil this if you haven't seen it go look it up I don't know if that's knockout of the year because there's been a lot of crazy stuff to happen this year please put that as a contender though uh, that was amazing it was so cool. Um, it's great. Oh, what's something else happened? Oh, yeah. Miles John got a win. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was awesome. But wait. James Krause wasn't in his corner. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's suspended. And is under some major investigation. I mean, that, you know what? Super fair. Some shady stuff is going down there. I, you know. Um, I think it's a really big conflict of interest if you openly gamble a ton of money on fights. Nothing wrong with that. But it's also including fighters you train, like 
I think there's I think there's a big interest there. I personally think it's okay if you're like a trainer and you bet on like uh, like if you're training, let's say you're James Grass and you're at Glory MMA, and you go, well, I'm gonna bet on, you know, the guys from, AKA versus the Greg Jackson guys or the SPG guys versus the TriStar guys. Like you know, I, I'm like weirdly okay with that. You might have some cheat insider knowledge, but I also go, an educated fan would have like a decent amount of knowledge as well, and they're just the highest level of educated fan on some on, in some regards, uh, in that case at least. But uh, fighters you train, oh, dude, that's that's shifty as, as hell, uh, you know. Um, very interesting situation there, I think. Another interesting thing is that time he told Tim Elliott to coast in the third round, and he lost because he coasted. Then a couple weeks ago, I think it was Derek Miner, who in kind of implied that his coaches knew he was hurt and told him to go out anyways. No, I'm not saying he's fixing fights. I'm not going to say that. I just think he might be stacking the odds in his favor for whatever bets he needs to make. Uh, so I'm not saying we should get the pitchforks out. I'm not saying we need to do any of that um, because we don't know. This looks bad, but sometimes things look bad and they're not that bad, you know? I mean, look at me. Uh, <laughs> um, it's, God, I'm dead. Uh, but uh, I, I, think it's, I think it's good we're looking into this, though. You know, and he's been in the news a lot lately, James Krause. Uh, like Megan Anderson, not that long ago, actually called him out, saying that like they, he didn't even train her for their fight or for the Amanda Nunes fight, saying she only got like thirty minutes of pad work a day. That's that's true. It's bad, but you know, Jeff Molina came out, trains at Glory MMA, came out and was like, nah, nah, you're full of it, you know, and like had all this like counterpoints and just question everything, which did create, in my opinion, that he said she said. I know a lot of people were like just believing Jeff Molina. Um, I'm one of the few people not blocked by Mika Anderson on Twitter. So, uh, but I will say that, like, I, I don't know. I don't know either, but personally, you know, it's really easy to look like a really good guy on Twitter, I think. Um, I don't know them personally, you know, so I, I can only just kind of go, well, one of them's right. <laughs> um, it, but it's just, honestly, this whole thing is a giant mess. It looks really bad for Kraus, who I actually really liked as a fighter, I would have had him in my boy stable if it wasn't, you know, like for a long time. It was if he didn't retire, he, like ah, it's rough. One thing I will say though, I think he could redeem himself in my eyes, regardless of the situation. If that Laura Sanko rumor is true, oh man, okay, <laughs> kidding. Anyways, that's it for me. Uh, I won't be here next week, but I will be here the week after. For Holland Wonder Boy, which actually sounds really fun to me. Um, and if you truly miss me, of course, you can always check me out on the main channel doing the retro reviews. I love them. You know, I say that every time, but I actually mean it. I love them. And uh, it is Thanksgiving this week in uh, America. That's where I'm from, from the States. Uh, I don't know if anyone else celebrates it. Probably not. Sounds like a very American thing to do. Um, but uh, I am thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for Carl for letting me be on the channel. Thankful for everything. Uh, this has been a great opportunity being on the, on the INC, being part of the INC family, and I love it. I, you know, I hope I keep doing it. You know, let's let's do it. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to say I'm thankful for you guys, the fans as well, of course. Uh, you know, I, I the warm reception I get from you guys means the world to me. I check every comment, even if I disagree with it. You know, <laughs> like last week, people got a little annoyed by. My opinion of the main event, which is fine. I, you know, like I said, we all have opinions. Just is what it is. Uh, and I was wrong. I actually rewatched it. I'll admit it here. I was wrong. That fight isn't that bad. It's fine. I think I just an Adesanya hater. I, I guess. Um, but anyways, I'm Joe with the INC. Thank you for watching. <laughs>